can help you there because there's a car super close behind. Just stop. What's up, Seda? Hello. Hey. What are you doing here? Fancy a mock test? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're in Wood Green, where Seda's test is, how long have we got to your driving One test? A month and a bit. A month and a bit yeah, in February, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you going to say the date or keep it secret? Keep it secret. Keep it secret, okay. <laughs> have you told anyone? Yeah, I have actually. Okay, who have you told? My friends. Oh, your friends will know? Yeah, yeah. So they're all going to be, when it gets close to the date, they're all going to be like, oh, it's your driving test coming up, good luck. Yeah, And then yeah. you're going to feel loads of pressure. Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> the secret to feeling less pressure is to not tell anybody when your driving test is. Facts. <laughs> so who are you learning with? Um, drive the Box. Drive the Box. Yeah. Not heard of him. Good instructor? Yeah, he's a good instructor. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. We're going to find out in a minute. <laughs> uh, cool, so you've driven a tiny bit on the way here? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the car? Very big. Very big? <laughs> <laughs> what car Very do you normally learn in? A smaller car. Smaller one? Yeah. Like a VW Pilot or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we're not quite at the test centre. We're going to drive round to the front of the test centre. Where do you start at Wood Green? Like when you do mock tests with your instructor, do you go round the front and just drive on or do you drive in and drive out again? Uh, well, it changes. Sometimes from the test centre, sometimes around the test centre and we just start the route. Just start anywhere. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I tell you what, why don't we just start the route? Yeah. Let's do it. Are you going to pass? Hopefully. I hope so, fingers crossed. Don't have a lot of faith. <laughs> Normally people are like, yeah, I'll pass, watch this. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's go. When you're ready, drive on. Cool. Yeah. Oh dear. He'll start. That's better. Nice. Okay, so we're just going to go around the block yeah. before we get back to Wood Green Driving Test Centre. Have you done a lot of practice in Wood Green? Yeah, I have. Yeah? yeah? Okay, cool. When did you start taking lessons? It's been three months. Three months? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Quite... Turn left. So you've only been driving for three months? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Turn left onto the road again. Do you feel like you've picked up driving quickly or? Has it been difficult? I feel like it has been quite difficult, but it's not bad. What do you need a driving license for? How's it going to help you in life and stuff? I think it's to be more independent, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. How do you get around at the moment? Like buses and stuff? Buses, yeah. Bus, oh no. And then when the bus strike started recently, you're like, wow, I actually need a driving license. Yeah, to be honest, it didn't affect me too much. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but. Road. Do you cycle? No. Never? No. Nope. Smart. But I have tried it, but it's not, it's not for me. my cup of tea. No. Nah. I feel like it's too dangerous for me. It makes sense. <laughs> have you used a sat nav before? Yeah, I have. Yeah. But without volume. Without volume? Oh, how come? Well, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit of a distraction. Yeah, the volume? Oh, yeah. okay. But what, with the try. voice? Yeah, but we can try with the volume. Your instructor has well. the voice off when you use the sat-nav? Yeah, most of the time. Oh, interesting. On the driving test, they leave the voice on. Yeah. So we're going to leave the voice on. Okay. Just like it is on the driving test. Okay. When you're on a hill, what do you normally do when you're with By your instructor? first? Yeah. Oh, dear. So take your time because we're in traffic yeah. and we're not really going to get anywhere quickly anyway. Yeah. So what do you do? Show me what you normally do for a hill start. Bite yeah, and point, point and, and then, then gas. And, and then gas, cool. Yeah. Perfect. That's exactly what, what I do for a hill start too. And I actually do. And take your time with it because there's no rush. Like look forward in the traffic and see how far we're going to get. Do you feel under pressure from the car behind? Yeah, because it's quite They're close. really close to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just stop there At next the time. Turn left. When the traffic moves off, yeah. 
take your time with it because you're not going to fail your driving test because someone else wants to get to their destination quicker, yeah. right? You're on a driving test, like no one else is doing anything more important than you on that day. Yeah. Okay. So don't feel under pressure from anybody. Okay. Take your time and get everything everything correct, go for it. Take your time, take your time, no rush, break, break on, break, break, break. So find the, stop, stop, stop. Break on, find the brighter point, one, there. Then hit the gas and then come off the clutch. It takes an extra second maybe to do it properly, but you're yeah. gonna do it properly so the examiner knows that you're gonna drive properly. Okay. And you're not gonna be put under pressure by anyone and do anything reckless or dangerous. Okay. Is it always traffic in Wood Green? Always. Really? Yeah. Always. But you're not from Wood Green, right, are you? No, no. Where, where are you from? Islington Angel. Angel's nice. <laughs> Love Angel action. What made you try, choose Wood Green for your drawing test centre then? Um, that's where it, when I booked it, that's the only option I had. Oh, really? Yeah. The only option? Yep. <laughs> in the whole of London? And that was at the closest time, which was, I had to wait for four to five months, five months for my driving test. Your instructor didn't have a hookup with an easier test centre. Are there any easier test centres around here? Where well, would you have preferred Tottenham, to? Tottenham. But Tottenham's quite, they do the same test routes other than one. Okay. Um, and so we don't want to go to Tottenham either? Any and others? There's like Chingford, but it's quite far from me. Is Chingford better than Tottenham and Wood Green? Apparently. People Is say it? it's a little bit better, okay. but. There's a lot of roundabouts there as well. Lots of roundabouts in Chingford. Yeah. How, how are you on roundabouts? Not too bad. Okay, good. Hopefully. <laughs> Shall we see? We'll, we'll see soon. There'll be some roundabouts on this route for sure. Yeah. Spanish tapas bar. Wow. Nice. Shall we sack this off and just get food? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, really good. I'm still getting comfortable, like trying to get used to the car, it's so different. All cars are gonna be different. That's the thing about when you learn to drive in one car, you learn to drive that car. Yeah. Instead of learning to drive by feeling out the biting point, by feeling out the gas and listening to the engine. So actually having maybe more than one instructor or more than one car when you're learning is a really good thing. Yeah, definitely it's true. And getting used to other cars as well. Yeah, definitely because then you're not driving just one car yeah. and driving it how it wants to be driven, you can then switch. Because when you pass, you're probably not going to get the same car as your instructor, right? Yeah. No. Uh, left? Yes. Turn left. What she said. Monday to Friday, seven till 10, four till seven. Do you know how to read the bus lane sign? Did your instructor get you to go in bus lanes? Yeah. Okay, good. But I can't use, can I use it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 12 o'clock. Well, it's one o'clock. We are definitely going to skip through that traffic. Let's go. So, bus lane, we can use that bus lane. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know why no one else is using it. They're scared to. <laughs> Just remember to come off the gas when you change gear. Yeah. Otherwise the engine makes loads of noise and it's not comfortable gear change. Oh look, we've literally gone in a big circle. After 300 yards, turn left, then you have reached your destination. Thanks. <laughs> so we went through that amber light there. Yeah. Could you have stopped for that? I think if I did it might have caused someone to break harshly. Okay, that's what you're going to say to your examiner, for sure. But there wasn't anyone behind us, so we could have definitely stopped for that, Amber Light. Okay. It's lucky I'm not your driving examiner, isn't it? <laughs> Do you think I'd be a harsh driving examiner? I don't know. <laughs> no. I wouldn't. No, I'd let everyone pass. I'd feel really bad <laughs> to fail anyone. Uh -oh. Nice. Well done for keeping that clear as well. What's it doing? Turn left, then you have reached your destination. So we're following the sat-nav, yeah? I'm not giving you directions. She's okay. giving you directions. 
on your driving test, you're going to have to follow this for 20 minutes. Okay. So you need to be listening. And that's why it's good to have the voice on. Because yeah. when she says something, then you look at the screen and you realise, oh, yeah, damn, I'm following the sat nav. Yeah. Instead of zoning out and then forgetting going the wrong way. Yeah, forgetting about it and going the wrong way. Wood Green Tube Station? Yep. <laughs> Is that where you came from today? No, bus. Oh, you got the bus yeah, here? 141. 141? Is that straight from Angel? Nearby, yeah. Okay. Oh, we're just going on. Oh dear. Wow, Wood Green is a madness. It's quite... So busy. Uh, yeah. Always. It's always busy? Yep. Always busy. Okay, so we're coming up to the driving test centre now. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination. And Wood Green Test Centre is on the left? Yeah. That's where we're going to start from. Okay. That's where I'm going to be marking you from. Okay. So now, we've got all of the mistakes out of the way. Yeah. Now there's the time to drive perfectly, so that drive in the box... Drive in the box? Yeah. Drive the box? Yeah. Drive the box is going to be impressed. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, we might see him We now. might see him. Oh my God, it might... Drive times. Imagine if we see him, give yeah. him a two. <laughs> Press the horn if you see him and wave. What's his name? Um, Salmon. Salmon? Yeah. Big up Salmon. Six speed. Wow, there's a lot of driving schools around here. Yeah, it's quite. Fat Mare's driving turn school. Possible, then there's a lot. Turn <laughs> there's a lot for sure. And then do I right? Yeah. What, what happened there? I was, um, I used the brake too much. Without the clutch? Stopping without the clutch? It's so smooth. It is smooth. The car's so smooth. So when the examiner sits here, they're like, wow, this is such a good driver. Wow, I said <laughs> it's such a good driver. She's amazing. <laughs> You are amazing at driving, but actually the car makes you look even more amazing. Oh. <laughs> it's very nice car. After 100 <laughs> yards, turn right, then at the end of the road, turn left. Great. Turn right, then at the end of the road, turn left. Good effort not to cut the corner. just got away with that. So you turned right. right into that road there and you were doing about five miles an hour. Yeah. What gear fi is, should five miles an hour be? One. One, okay, cool. It was the biting point that actually saved me there. And just here, we're sliding into a passing place, obviously, because these cars are coming at us. Yeah. But what about any cyclists on the left? Did you check out no. the mirror for them? Okay, cool. Ooh. Okay, gonna help you there. Because there's a car super close behind. Just stop. Take over from me. Is that gonna work? Oh dear. Yes. Check the mirror. Why are we checking the mirror when you move Just around? Just in case there's a cyclist yeah. on the motorbike. Cool, cool. Turn left, then go straight on. So I used the brake there because there was a car close behind us. You were rushing the hill start like we talked about before so that you could try and set off faster. But actually, in trying to set off faster and rush, you uh -huh. make more mistakes and then, yeah, you're always better off on a driving test to take your time and make sure that you've got everything set up properly, okay. even though we're in a pressure situation where people are waiting around us. Okay. The key to passing your driving test is planning ahead. Do you learn planning and anticipation on driving lessons? Yeah. 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 Okay. As we're going forward, talk to me about planning and anticipation. What are you planning for? So, like that car is. Yeah. Cutting. Coming what else? By. The lights. Could change. After yeah. After eighty yards, um, go straight on. Go straight gears, on. Hazards.
What about now? What are we planning for? So, plan because it's quite. There's a lot of traffic. Where cool. We'll probably stop soon, maybe. <laughs> Now his signal is uh, There's the light, so we're probably going to stop. That's great. And because you planned it in advance, you could do it smoothly and everything else is calm. Yeah. When you stop planning, that's when stuff goes wrong. Yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Interesting. Roundabout action. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Oh. Ah, why? Oh, gear. Got it. What kind of mistakes do you normally make on lessons then? What do you work on with your instructor? Um, so, well, that was a gear problem that I forgot. Yeah, do you normally do that? Mm, <laughs> I think I got very nervous at the roundabout. Okay. Because you mentioned it as well. Because we mentioned roundabouts. Yeah. You mentioned roundabouts. You said you were awesome at roundabouts. <laughs> you said, Francis, if there's one thing I'm going to impress you with, it's going to be roundabouts. Watch this. <laughs> and then Joking, boom. she didn't say that. <laughs> And doing After something like... 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Another one, cool. Doing something like forgetting the gears, it's not a massive issue. Just correct it, fix it, and then drive on. It's not unsafe to try and set off in the wrong gear, but you just have to then realise that you've done it, set off correctly. Yeah, and do and it not, quick. Yeah, and not let it affect then. your drive. Yeah. Let's talk about gears then. What's the speed that you normally change up or down from first to second? So zero to ten yeah. is one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then ten to twenty is two. Perfect. Yeah. So when you go below ten, that's when you need to go back into first. Yeah. Cool. Seda. Yeah. Do you know what I didn't do? What didn't you do? I didn't ask you a show me tell me question. You actually did that. I didn't, did I? No. Can I give you one now because we're in traffic? Okay. Cool. Um, and you said you were really good at this too, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said you actually said that you didn't re revise some of them. Yeah. So um, let's not go with the hardest one. The hardest one is definitely at the end of how do you check your power steering is working? Do you know that one? No, you don't know yeah. how to check your power steering is working. I don't, we haven't been through. You haven't been through it with your instructor? No. Okay. Do you know how to check your brakes are working? Um, as, um, so, what do you mean? How to check your brakes are working. When I'm driving? Yeah, or before you set off. Oh, um, so it shouldn't be stiff or slack. Okay. And it shouldn't, well, it shouldn't turn to one side. When you brake and set off. Okay, yeah. cool. It shouldn't be spongy or slack. Yeah. Like the brakes shouldn't feel like there's no resistance. Not they like should the, feel firm. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what you need. You need to uh, revise your show me, tell me questions, right? Before, yeah. yeah. You need a good show me, tell me video, right? Yeah, yeah, you have it. There. It's going to be here, on the screen, <laughs> right here. I've seen it. You need a show me, have you seen to, it? Yeah, I've seen you it. You need to watch it again. Yeah, I need to go, go, over, go over it. Awesome. So 
so I'm noticing a repeat mistake, which is gears. Yeah. You don't remember the gears when to go into first gear, and when you're driving along, you're not realizing when you're at the correct speed to change gear as well. Try and listen to the engine. The engine talks to you. Obviously, you've just got to remember to put it in first when you're stopped. Yeah. But when you're driving along and your engine sounds like, Vroom, then it means that you need to change up a gear. Or when the engine's like struggling a little bit, then you need to change down a gear. Make sense? Yeah. So just listen to the engine as we speed up. At the up. end of the road, turn left. You can hear now it's going louder. Sounds so we change. need to, yeah, exactly. Turn left. And now the engine noise is doing what? It's Lowering. Yes. Yeah, so so then that's when you that. could change. You could have changed down at that point. Yeah. But we're now at ten, so we can stay in second. Tell you something else that can make you feel a lot more relaxed, mm -hmm. giving yourself more distance to the car in front. Like double that distance right now. Let oh, the black car get away from you and double that distance. So slow it right down, let them get away from you. Okay. And then that puts you in a much more relaxing position because you don't have to react to them so quickly. Okay. So we've got about 10 meters between us now, make it 20. Let them speed up and get away from you. Okay, it doesn't matter, does it? No, it does well, matter because that makes you more relaxed. Yeah, but in the test... That's fine. You're travelling quite close to this car. Okay. So it will make your examiner feel more relaxed as well. If you've got... So don't accelerate. Let them get away from you. Yeah. About that distance is now a much better following distance. If okay. they break, you've got more time to, to react. Yeah. If they do something, if a car cuts in front of you, you've got more time to react. Obviously, the following distance is relative. So the, the faster you're going, you need a bigger following distance. Yeah. At about this speed, 10 miles an hour, that should be your following distance. Okay. Jeez, wood green is like just one massive traffic jam. Yeah. Why do people drive around here? Why do people take a test here? I guess these are one of the routes that's close by. This is one. There of isn't the routes. much test centres as well. There aren't. No, there should yeah, be more. There should if there be was more. more, then we'd have less backlog. Yeah. Will this be your first driving test? Yeah, first. You're gonna pass first time. Hopefully. Hopefully. But I need more no, practice. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Half of the battle is confidence. Like, you don't have to be a very good driver to pass your driving test. Yeah. But when the examiner gets in with their high-vis jacket and an iPad and starts marking you, then unless you're super confident, you're not going to give them your best driving. Yeah. And they don't true. really need very good driving. They just need you to be safe. Yeah. And operating a car safely is not difficult, is it? No, no. But if you're not confident... Then you're going to make more mistakes. Crumble. Yeah, definitely. So, um, Seda, going to pass your driving test? Yeah. 100%. Pass it. <laughs> Makes all the difference. Do you know what? Don't think I'm a fan of wood green. It's quite, yeah. I'm going to put it out the there. It's worst. It's quite hard. Yeah. Like my sister it's as just well. Traffic. Um, she, she went into her test here for a couple of times and then she changed to Chingford. Okay. Yeah. Your sister with a BMW. Yeah, BMW. <laughs> BMW 3 Series. Yeah. Actually a sick car. Actually a sick car. Yeah. This is very lucky. What's your favourite car? Have you got one? BMW. 150 <laughs> turn right. Uh, set up. Where are we going? So we're going to turn right. Yeah, where do so we go? Uh, oh. uh, well, we need to go there, but I couldn't position. Why? Ah. What are you going to do now then? Can I just go straight? No, we need to turn right. So, look, cut the mirrors. Cool. There's a motorbike, but it's okay. How does the car feel? Yes. Turn right. So 
so going back into first gear isn't something that you normally forget when you're on driving lessons no really I don't know why you're just making they're... special mistakes for me to make youtube <laughs> more interesting thanks appreciate it <laughs> So interesting. I think it's the nerves as well. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm quite nervous. Right now? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's just... I can't actually give you a driving license. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, but... cool. <laughs> Imagine if I could actually give out driving licenses on YouTube. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be sick. <laughs> On your driving test, if it starts raining, yeah. the examiner won't say anything for a while. Yeah. Because you're in control of the car. Yeah. And if you were driving around with your mum, your mum probably wouldn't say anything either. You're in control of the car, it's your car. So make sure that you switch your head your wipers on okay. when it starts raining before they ask you to. Okay. Because if oh, your right. visibility starts getting impaired, they will tell you to switch the wipers on, but then you'll get a minor. Okay. Yeah. Like now, it's harder to see. Yeah. So you need to put the wipers on. Do I need to keep on pressing it? Um, no, oh. if you want to keep it on. Let's it's think about this situation this right now. Here. What could we be doing differently, do you think? Go on the... Left. No? Yeah, I can. If I'm going straight or left. No? Up to you. But it's not safe right now. Because we're in. Yeah. Because what? I'm in the overtaking. Are you yeah. in the overtaking? No. I want you to be confident. Give me the correct answers or do just yeah. do the action that you Take think is correct. Oh, there's too much going on. I can't do it no more. Too much going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm going a bike. So what happens if you end up in the right lane by accident on the driving test? It'll be the overtaking lane. So yeah. I have to go to the left. Normally, yeah. You need to go to the left unless you're turning right or overtaking someone. Yeah. So notice all these cars are turning right. They're on a crossroads. Uh -huh. They've got to wait for gap in traffic. Yeah. Well, we're going straight. We don't have to wait for a gap in traffic. So they're all going to hold us up. Nice. After 200 yards, turn left. Ooh, okay. 200 yards, turn that's left. That's 200 meters. About 200 meters. I was gonna, that's just exactly what I was just gonna ask. It's like <laughs> a psychic. Wow, nice. Great control. Turn left. Sure. You've actually got so much good driving in you. <laughs> if you could just remember to go back into first gear when you stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It's quite narrow here. Well, that actually is not. But if there is cars. Okay, stop on the left behind the grey car. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about the driveway. I'll do. Thanks. Guess what we're going to do next? Parallel park. <laughs> this is your manoeuvre. Parallel park. When you're ready, set off. Okay. No, dear. Left. Lift, left and down. Cool. I knew that was going to get me. Mm. 
what was yeah first I need to do this yeah and then That was a nice technique. What was that? I don't know what I did there, but... <laughs> Is that not how you normally do it? Yeah, I do. Okay. But... So you do... I don't... I'm not a massive fan of dry steering because okay. it's just kind of like lazy. And once you... Okay. Yeah, like beautifully parked. Once you pass and you pay for your tyres... You wouldn't want to do it. Yeah, you're not going to want to do dry steering and grind out your tyres on the tarmac. But actually for a technique, if someone's struggling for with parallel parking, that's a really good way to do it. Okay. So yeah. you turned one turn left. Yeah. And then reverse back. What were you looking for then before you stopped? Um, where? Which bit? Like, so you, you went back alongside the car. Yeah. And then you stopped and did one turn left. Yeah. And then you went back along here. Yeah. And then you stopped. What was the next reference point? It was point? that light. Their light. Yeah. The the red light on that car. Yeah. Where? I Should be where. In line with your mirror. Yeah, kind of. Okay. No. You, you done I don't a, know what I did. You doing. banged out a perfect parallel parking car. car. <laughs> don't know how you did it. Was it lucky? No, no. It's. Uh, I forgot how, I don't know how to describe it. Okay. Yeah. And then I had to fix it. Did I fix it? No. Did I do it right? I don't know. Yeah, really don't know good. Did, really, yeah. really good. I got a question. Go for if it. I say for example you went in wrong, yeah. can I go front and then go back? Yeah. Without can, going again. Absolutely, yeah. Well if you need to correct any manoeuvres, yeah. even parallel parking, bay parking, whatever, you can correct it. Yeah. The examiner might give you a driver fault for okay. needing to correct it, but you can definitely correct it. Okay, it's better than the Because they're not well. looking for how well you park, okay. they're looking for how safely you park. Okay. So okay. if you can adjust bad parking safely, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, okay. Lovely work. Know why the car's making all that noise? The gears. Yeah. What yeah, about the gears? The form. Yeah. Ooh. So why is the car making oh, all that gas. noise when you're changing gears? Gas. Yeah, because you need to come off the gas. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. After half a mile, keep left. Alright, when it's safe to do so, show me how you de the rear windscreen. It's one of these. Yep, press it. Done. How? Okay, okay. cool. <laughs> and you can turn it off again. Roundabout that you practice with your instructor? I think so. Okay. Keep left, then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Oh. Okay, for now, left. After 200 yards, Where are we going go next? right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Right, so. Cool. Middle lane. Because there's a lane that drives. Go right on the roundabout <laughs> and take the third exit. We're going right on the roundabout, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
So you've done this roundabout before yeah. and you know that when you turn right on it, you need to start from the middle lane? Yeah. Okay. It's, you'll be on the left lane on the right hand. Okay. Let's see. Let's, ha let's, let's see how see. it turns out. <laughs> Drive the box probably knows <laughs> the way and he's taught you well. Look how that works. That's crazy. It's quite complicated. That's crazy. So you knew that if you start in the right lane, you'll end up in the wrong lane. Yeah. So you started in the middle lane to turn right and you ended up in the correct lane. So like, what if you hadn't learnt that? Yeah, and you then, came to take your test at Wood Green? Yeah, then. You'd be screwed. Because you'd be getting this roundabout all wrong. Yeah. So I have learnt it, <laughs> I guess. Well, yeah, look, <laughs> we're leaving at the next exit and you're on the outside, so it worked perfectly. Yeah. Change. Yeah. Take the exit. But I did it. Smashed up the roundabout, but I still need to go into first gear. Yeah, I know. But, you know, I'm happy. Yeah, that I was would good. Say I'm happy. <laughs> happy this. <laughs> At least I know I've learned what I, you know. Were you worried about that roundabout? Yeah, I was. Yeah, when okay. We that worked nicely. I yeah. like that a lot. So you have done a lot of practice around here. Love yeah. it. I have, but I think it's actually good to not have your instructor sometimes not next to you. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure about roundabouts at all. Let me be honest, but... And I can use the left side. No, I can't. Let's be on the safe side. <laughs> Did you see the sign? After no. 800 The bus lane sign? Turn no. right. Okay. So what if you could use this bus lane? Then I'll be on the overtaking lane. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of important to watch the signs, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. To be, uh, to be, yeah, it is, of course it is. Yeah. The good thing is, I know that when I take my test, it's not going to be in use. Oh, what time's your driving test? 9.07. Oh, that's lucky. So, it's good that I know that. <laughs> you still want to watch out for the signs though, because of once you've passed, you could be zipping through traffic in Wood Green quick time because yeah. you've read the sign and everyone else is waiting. Yeah, After 400 yards, turn right. What's the hesitation? Because there's a car, but okay. Quite so far back. Yeah. Turn right. Yeah, so you were driving down along the lane there and the car was really far away from you. Plus, if you're indicating, then, uh, that's not an excuse me button yeah. that's an i'm moving signal okay. so you had a nice really nice space there behind the black car okay. and you're not saying i might be moving in a minute okay, you're saying okay. i'm moving now so then just move into the lane you don't have to wait for people to flash you or okay. let you go you've got space just move into it okay. plus if you are indicating but you're not moving that's probably more confusing right yeah like, like there's a space why on? is she not moving into it she's indicating oh maybe she's just left the signal on by accident oh yeah Confident. Gonna pass your test, right? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. I like this car. It's very comfortable. Yeah. Car. Yeah. Maybe you might think about getting one of these instead once you pass. Yeah. What do you reckon, Mercedes yeah. A Class or BMW One Series? You know what? I like this car. Yeah. Maybe Mercedes. Uh, everyone says that once they drive it. Damn, yeah. it's smooth. It is very smooth. So you can't smooth. feel it as much. And the engine's so quiet. Yeah. It's, it's like driving on a cloud. It actually is, isn't it? Yeah. It's a shame that you guys can't feel it, but it's so smooth. Oh, I'm going a bit high. What's 
speed were we doing there? 23. 23. Do you think I've noticed that? Do you think I saw that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> 20. <laughs> if it's like one or two, it's not bad. But it's not bad. Yeah, but one, 23 is a bit. 23 is a little bit pushing it. Yeah. You'd have to have a really nice examiner to let you off that. Or do a really nice drive. Yeah. Or have a couple of 20s in your back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't bribe the examiners. <laughs> It'll be nice to, but... Or maybe no. you can. Do you think you can bribe ex driving examiners? No. If, guys, if you've ever been able to bribe a driving examiner, <laughs> comment below. Let us know. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. There's like gr of trees growing out of that building. Yeah. <laughs> After 200 yards, turn left, then take the third left. No problem, huh? <clears throat> turn left, then take the third left. What about that bus? Yeah, it's signaled. It was signalling. Should we have let it go first? Yeah. Why? Because it was ready to set off. Um, what, why would you have let it go first then? Wasn't it your priority? Huh? Yeah, it was his priority, you know? Yeah, because we always let buses go first, right? Yeah. It's actually in and the highway code. And it's safe as well. Yeah, 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 yes. okay, cool. Like you don't feel the bumps here. It's, yeah, it's nice. It smooths it all out. It makes you look good. Yeah. To 200 when yards, it's a smaller car, you left, feel it more. Yeah. At the end of the road, it feels like a roller coaster right. over those those kind of bumps in a different car. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, uh, uh. Turn left, then at the end of the road, turn right. There we go. Oh dear, I missed it. You, de you did? <laughs> you missed it? I, I got distracted by the guy. 100%. I was like, oh, let's well, pull up at least on the it's left. safer. Yeah, it is what it is. In a safe place. Cool. Handbrake, neutral. Setter. Press. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Done. That's it. Cancel the signal. Okay, we're right around the corner from the driving test centre. The driving test centre is on the main road, so we're going to end here. Yeah. That's okay. the end of your driving test. Yeah. How do you think you got on? I failed. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm happy because I, I feel like the roundabouts went very good. Yeah. I did the manoeuvre, right? It's just being patient on the road. And 100%. Don't rush. That block biting point he'll start yeah I'm rushing, rushing it you are rushing it and getting it wrong and I'm using my brake to stop you rolling back well I can actually control one it if I took my turn. two three yeah think that in your head one two one two three okay. get it in the correct order and you can't go wrong okay every time you have a hill start one two three yeah um what else and gear. gear, make sure the gear. Gears, yeah. go back into first gear. Maybe you could make it a routine, like tap tap it. Yeah. Every time you stop, tap it. Yeah. Okay. Tap it, tap it. Because then if you're in the wrong gear and you tap it, you're going to go into the correct gear. Yeah, true. Um, but overall, really nice drive. You know what you're doing. The other thing I would recommend is you need to listen to the sat-nav more. Yeah. Um, so quite often, if you're turning right, you're traveling down in the left lane. There was one time even we were going straight and you were in the right lane. So you need to be more aware of what you're doing next because okay. the examiner will let you mess it up and they won't, sit, they won't sit there and say, you know you're in the wrong lane, move into the other lane. Yeah. Like when you're turning right and you're not moving into the right lane quick enough, mm -hmm. it's not giving you enough time. So then more things can go wrong. If you move into the right lane earlier, then it'll, you, be, it'll be much easier. But you can only do that if you've got advanced Plan warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. planning yeah. ahead from where you're going. So definitely more practice with a sat-nav yeah. and with the voice on. Okay. So that you get used to hearing it and reacting to it early. Okay, yeah. That's good. Happy days. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. That was a nice drive. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for coming to see us. Thank you as well. It was great. <laughs> was it? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Do you feel a bit more chilled now it's finished? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Good. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> Peace. You.